Hey guys, how are you guys today? So, today I will be doing a get ready with me as well as a talk through. Um, I've already filled in my brows and I've already prepped my face. I'm going to go ahead and spray my face with the rose water and glycerin. I picked this up at my um, Good and Natural store by me, but you can pick it up at a Trader Joe's or um, Whole Foods, I believe. I love Whole Foods, by the way. You can find a lot of things in that supermarket, like a high-end supermarket for skin. And I love their food. I love their sushi bar. I love everything. Anyways, I'm going to spritz my face about three to four times. This is... I think that was more than four sprays but I'm gonna let that dry and I've been really loving powder as of lately um I've been loving powder cuz I'm a mommy um, me and my son are gonna have a little date we're gonna go to build a bear he wants to build a bear and uh, he just turned six years old so I feel like we should go build a bear and then of course we're going to go to our favorite um, restaurant, not restaurant, we're going to go to our favorite place which is uh, Shake Shack and I love Chick-fil-A too, I love Chick-fil-A's uh, frosted lemonade but you know what, since he's the birthday boy, it's his birthday weekend, we're going to let him choose Shake Shack. Anyways, I'm going to be using this Physician's Formula um, Mineral Wear Talk Free Mineral Face Powder in um, Buff Beige. Um, I don't know if this is my color. It's been a long time since I've worn this. And, and I'm a little darker, being that it's the summer. And um, I don't know. We shall see if it works. And if it doesn't... Um, we can always alter it with a like bronzer or highlight if it's too dark. I mean, we can make it happen. So I'm going to be using my mirror because I don't have a mirror here. And I'm just going to be patting this on. Oh, this coverage is gorgeous. And um, I don't know. What do you guys think? I think the color is okay. It's a little dark. Slightly. Ugh just a little and I'm going to be patting on, patting it on and I'm using a um, expert face brush by uh, Real Techniques I'm going to grab super bad skin um, I do have like slight imperfections like open pores and just um, spots from And I have this pet peeve, like, you know how you could see the line when you put on foundation and you could see the line between the hair and the makeup and it just looks like a mask. I, I don't know. I just don't like that. Let me just buff that in. I love this. I love this brush. You can use it for liquid, cream, and powder. I'm just going to drag that down to my neck because I feel like this is a little too dark for me. I'm going to add some extra powder to my problem areas, which is around my cheek, my chin. I think it looks good. What do you guys think? To me, that looks really good. Oh, that looks amazing, actually. For like a drugstore powder, it looks really good. I'll place information down below on what I filled in my brows with. It was pretty simple. It was the ColourPop um, brow gel. It's a pretty color for my brows and it matches my hair and I really like it. So, a lot of new chapters have been opening for me. Um, so, I'm going to be using the Revlon Color Stay Concealer in the shade. Ooh! Crud. In the shade. 
fair. I like a bright under eye, so um, let's see how long this video is going to go for. So I'm just going to just do the normal triangle. I like a lot of concealer. Like, I like that brightness. Like, can we just talk about how bright I like my under eye? And I like my under eye bright to the point where I set my under eye with Ben Nye with Ben 9 Professional Powder in Super White. Like, can we just talk about the obsession of the brightness under eye? It's not for everyone, but I love it. Um, I love the look. I love contouring and I love highlighting. <sighs> so pretty. So I'm gonna just do a cross on my forehead. I don't need any brightness up there, like. I ain't going nowhere. Like, nowhere special. Laying down my nose. And just... Top of my lip. There we go. And that's pretty much it. I like to let the concealer sit for a little. And then I like to let the concealer sit for a little. And then I'm going to go ahead with my spray again. And I'm going to spritz my face. Let it sit for like a minute. And then grab my damp beauty blender. Now this is the beauty blender that I use. It's damp. I dampened it before I began this video. Now let it sit for a minute. I've been really loving the Think Thin High Protein Bars, um, 20 grams of protein. I am a fit mommy. I do work out um, every day, except for like some Saturdays and some Sundays. I do lift weights. I have competed in the past. Uh, if you guys like any, if you guys want like any workout tips. Use the. Oh, I have no setup over here. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Tardiest, uh, Tardiest and Makeup by Shayla. I'm gonna be using the um, the number two, which is right here. I'm gonna be using the number two to just like add under my eye as well. Oh, I have something in my eye. I didn't even realize that. Okay, I'll do that later. But I'm going to be adding that. And then that's that. And then I'm going to be contouring. So what I'm going to, I like contour two ways. So I'm going to be using the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. Did I mention that I love Physicians Formula? Physicians Formula always has a sale going. Um, actually, no. Rite Aid CVS always has like a sale going where it's either buy one get one free or buy one get one like half off. So I like to warm up my face with this, and I am using the Real Techniques um contour brush, and I'm just gonna warm up my face with this. My son is so funny. He has like a huge imagination. How many of you moms out there go through the same thing where, <laughs> you know, they're like talking to their self and it's so funny. So that's, I'm just warming up my face. I'm going to add some under. Yeah, this definitely is, like, the foundation is a little too dark, but that's okay. We'll drag it down, and it looks, it looks good with my neck. Like, it doesn't look bad, 
But my under eye looks so bright on camera. Like I could just look at the view, at the mirror behind my camera, and I could see like how bright it is. And we could correct that, you know? It's not that serious. It's just makeup, guys. A lot of you guys be all bent out of shape about makeup, judging other people. Like, come on. Life is way too short. Have fun with makeup. Dive in, baby. Have fun. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add some highlights. So the highlighter that I'll be using first is the... Um, Actually, you know what? I'm gonna taper down on this, uh, taper down on this under eye because it looks a little too bright, beyond bright. So I'm gonna taper it down just a little bit um, with Hula Bronzer, just a little bit, like nothing too serious. Actually, you know what? I'm not even gonna go with Hula Bronzer. I'm gonna go back with my uh, Physicians Formula. Um, The uh, um, the Super Shock Cheek Highlighter by ColourPop Cosmetics in Stole the Show. I freaking love this highlighter. I'm going to use my finger and then use my finger. Ladies, your fingers are your best friends for when it comes to, like, beating up your face. Some products just don't work well with brushes, especially cream products. Like, just some. Some cream products. And, um, you know, you gotta use, look at me, like, covering the camera with my beautiful pink and black leopard mirror because the mirror is like far from me it's like all the way back there it's way behind the camera anyway so um just add some of that middle of the nose cute um cupid's bow yeah cupid's bow mm -hmm. That's pretty much it. And then I'm going to just wipe my finger. I hate when my fingers are dirty. That looks really intense in camera, guys. Like, that looks super intense. I wonder what um, people use the super white powder for. Hi, Junior. Okay, just wipe yourself, okay? So, um... Now, to set that cream highlighter, I'll be using the Precious Wet n Wild Precious Petals. I know this isn't out anymore. It's super hard to find it. Um, and that's okay. You can use your favorite highlighter to set the powder. Or to, you know, just highlight your face. You could use, like, a pretty little powder. Oh, I have some texture going on here. Okay. Sometimes... I feel like before putting on makeup, I have to put like a, um, a hydrating mask. Not that I have dry skin, I have combination skin. Gosh, I'm just jumping from topic to topic. <laughs> um, but uh, I feel like before applying makeup, and I don't know, like you guys should try it, like put like a hydrating mask on. And the hydrating mask I use is by Elizabeth Arden. I buy it from... Um, I buy it from Amazon for I think $11 and I put it on before makeup application and I feel like it definitely smooths like texture on my skin. Um, a highlighter that you guys could use, you know what, because I know Wet n Wild highlighter isn't out, it's hard to find. You guys can use the uh, Physicians Formula um, Warm Nude palette it looks like this and it opens up and it has like a bunch of squares and it's definitely a cute highlighter powder another highlighter powder you guys can use is the wet n wilds mega glow this is a uh, $4.99 and you this is still out you guys can find this and instead of like the highlighter that I'm using 
And this is like a fast get ready with me. Not fast. I'm gonna, okay, anyways. I'm gonna move on to blush. And I'm gonna be using this NARS Ibuki, I believe. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use the um, actually you know what I'm not even gonna carve out my cheeks I'm gonna just leave it just like that like I'm not going anywhere special I'm gonna go ahead and set my brows with the Milani easy brow tinted fiber gel and the color I picked up was medium brown and I've been using this for a really long time and I really love it. I feel like it sets my brows and my brows do not go anywhere. See, look at that. And just in case like you filled in your brows like too light or you don't like the color, you could always go in with this and it adds that, that neutral brown color to your brows. This is amazing. It's amazing on top or by itself. Love this stuff. Um, okay, so that's that. I'm going to contour my nose. What I'm going to contour my nose with is the uh, Coastal Sense 250 brush. I like contouring my nose with this. And I'm going to contour my nose with the uh, Butter Bronzer. I'm going to lightly contour it. Something, if, like, the more videos I post or pictures, like, on my social media, you guys are going to notice that this side of my nose has, like, a lump as opposed to this side is kind of, like, flat. And I've told the doctor about it where this nostril is swollen and this nostril is, like, normal. I don't know. I think it has to do with, like, my sinus or I don't really know, but... A homegirl is so close to like getting her a rhinoplasty like seriously because this is insane you know we all have our insecurities we all do but this is like insane like I hate the way it looks okay so my nose is contoured. I'm looking at the mirror. My makeup looks super crazy. But to me, like looking in this mirror, I feel like it looks good. <laughs> um, okay, so let's move on. Ready to size in my blush is with all of that stuff, highlighter, all of that. I'm gonna go ahead and I don't know, yesterday I put false lashes on and I used this glue and the glue residue has not gotten out of my eyes and that's so annoying. Anyways, so I'm going to be using this fluffy brush by uh, BH Cosmetics. There's no number on it, but it's a fluffy brush. my favorite wipes by the way the fresh cucumber wipes by uh, Target when I get a chance I'm gonna do a favorites video I'm just beginning my YouTube channel so I've been doing makeup since 2009 and I never really had the confidence to uh, begin a channel I guess it's because I was at like a dark place in my life and I must honestly say I'm still at a dark place in my life. I'm still, I'm, you know, I'm trying to get over it and, you know, trying to live life my way. And, uh, yeah. So my lips are moisturized. 
I did something wrong over here. I have mascara under my eye. So I'm going to just grab this brush and I'm going to add some, I don't know, some under eye powder, I guess. What is this brush? Am I so um, I'm going to add some of the Serene Illuminator under my eye. I'm not going to add any liquid lipstick. Not today. Actually, I should because I'm going to be eating Shake Shack. So my lips are going to be all over the place. I don't know. What do you think? What do you guys think I should use? Let me eat. Before I put my lips. Um. I don't How many of you guys like the NYX Lip Lingerie? How many of you guys like it? I like it. I feel like you definitely have to moisturize your lips before applying it. Because if not, I expect your lips to be flaky, baby. Flake. Flake city. I'm going to say, I don't know. Let's see. I have a lot of, like, lipstick laundries over here. I'm actually going to do like, I don't know, since I did really natural on my face and a really bright under eye, I'm going to use Bedtime Flirt. Oh, my lipstick is all over the place. I'm going to use... Um... I'm going to use... Bedtime Flirt by NYX. Uh, I'm not going to line my lips. Actually, I should line my lips. I'm just being late. I'm not being lazy, but I'm being like in a rush. Um, Let's see what I can line my lips with. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to line my lips with the uh, Naked Urban Decay Pencil. I've yet to find, I'm pretty sure a lot of Sephora has it. My Sephora doesn't, or at least not yet. We're out of stock because a lot of people love that nude color. Um, I'm looking for matte 1993 pencil. So, um, yeah, I'm looking at the viewfinder. My under eye looks super bright. Okay, so I'm going to line my lips, guys. I'm using natural lighting, by the way. Like, my windows are open. I have a light behind. I really need to invest in a ring light. A lot of people have been telling me, Girl, you need to invest in a ring light. Fill in my lips. I've actually filled in my lips with the lip pencil. And then I'm going to continue filling it, filling it in with Bedtime Flirt by by NYX lip lingerie. So pretty. So let's see how that works. Mm. My lips are definitely chat. That oil definitely helped. And that burger I'm about to eat is definitely going to moisturize my lips because of all that oil. And I'm definitely going to have to go to the gym tomorrow because <sighs> hanging out with my son, you know, sometimes can be, you know, an adventure because my son... Loves junk food. He loves Shake Shack. He loves Burger Fi. He loves Bear Burger. Anything burger. He loves it. Anything hot dog. He's on it. So, 
thank God I'm like, I kind of like overdrew on my lips. This is so crazy. I'm going to add this into my makeup bag. Um, I like to carry my beauty blender with me, not that I used it. And what I like to do is when I get oily, I like to blot, like grab the beauty blender, bounce it on the powder, blot my oiled areas because I do have combination oily skin. And during the winter, I'm a dry ass, I'm a dry ass potato chip. <laughs> dry ass stale potato chips during the winter so I like to carry that wrap in a napkin and of course my everyday uh, marvelous powder LA girl and creamy natural and um I'm pretty much done guys I had an awesome time with you guys um let me know in the in the comments section like what videos you want to see next I'm kind of brainstorming and trying to get some inspiration by watching other people's videos to figure out like what video should I do next. I definitely enjoy like working with makeup. I definitely enjoy working with people. And I definitely want to spread some positivity. I definitely want to help people feel beautiful because I remember I was at a point in my life where I felt like an ugly duckling. And um, as I got older and I had my son, I started to find like the beauty within myself. And I hope you guys find, you know, for people that are struggling, I hope that you guys are able to find, you know, beauty within yourself. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.